because of a horrible beast that threatened the residents. It also tells of the wolf that risked it all to protect them, controlling the very fabric of existence. This wolf stood up against a beast many times its size and banished it. This eternal wolf, valiant act, ushered in an era of tranquility, the villagers' hearts swelled with respect and adoration for it. game a long time ago when it was on PlayStation so look forward to seeing how it looks now and look forward to enjoying it with you guys so with that in the trailer let's jump right in in a grove of proud and beautiful cherry blossoms. Each and every tree around the quiet bird was honored as a god. However, their village was not without its dark secrets. To satisfy the appetite of the glory, fearsome grave dwelling beast. A young maiden was offered as a sacrifice at the annual festival. With a body like a mountain and eight heads mounted on the neck, the size of tree trunks, its blood red eyes alone was said to curse anyone who gazed into them. No one dared disobey the horrific beast. sacrifice drew near. A mysterious white wolf appeared outside the village. This wolf, its coat sprinkling the snow, was dubbed Shiranu. The wolf kept a watchful eye on anyone who ventured outside the village and made a habit of patrolling the streets at night. People assumed the wolf to be a familiar boy. One villager took it upon himself to face the fearsome Shannon. The warrior Nagi attempted many times to challenge the wolf. As the attempts were thwarted by Shannon's swift movements. Before long, the night of the accursed festival had arrived. White plum 
arrow herald the coming sacrifice. Piercing the sky, the arrow sunk its shaft squarely in two. The home of Nami, the village most beautiful maiden. Nagi, harboring a secret love for Nami, was enraged by this sign. Determined to put an end to it already once and for all, Nagi traveled to the beast's cave, place of his beloved. The moon cave, place as stark as evil itself, served as Ori's home. Snaggy stood bravely before the entrance. The beast appeared, eyes glowing crimson upon eight thrashing necks. Or she stood tall before him, anxious for another sacrifice. Nagi leapt with incredible grace, swinging at his blade valiantly. One on he sliced well into the moonless night. Ori's heart was like steel. The blade left merely a scratch. At long last, Nagi, his energy spent from the intense battle, dropped to his knees, fatigued and gasping for breath. He knew he was star death in the face. Just then, the wolf appeared. As if to protect Nagi, it stood its ground before Oroshi. In the darkness of the cave, the wolf's coat shone brightly. Alas, it was, you know, the wolf that dwelt outside the village, bearing its fangs, fearsome claws. Yano licked towards Oroshi. Where she reached its terrifying heads, readying its fangs for battle. The two beasts struggled wildly, thrashing in the darkness. Mysteriously and terrifying, the spectacle continued. Gusts of divine wind to counter Orishi's flames. As Orishi closed in on Xiong, sharpened claws glittering, a giant tree suddenly sprouted forth, shielding the wolf. Jiang fought gallantly to gain the upper hand. However, where she protected by mysterious power was not easily bested. Yanish, covered in gashes, majestic coat dyed crimson, stood exhausted before the mighty Orshi. saw a chance to strike what could be the final blow. But Shiona refused to give in. With his last ounce of strength, the majestic wolf gazed heavenward and unleashed a mighty howl. Suddenly, the black clouds overhead dispatched. The light from the above glinted off Nagi's sword as a beacon of hope. Guided by his sword, Nagi, who had been taking shelter in the shadows, stood proudly to face his adversary, channeling all his strength into his sacred battered arm. 
I let Rose Lissy to watch or she is so at poised high. Golden sword danced in his hand like a puppet in a string. One by one, where she's fearsome heads separated from their owner. Where she's broken body collapsed, a lake of its own blood. In that instant, the curse that had plagued the villagers was lifted. As the battle subsided, the sun shone once again in the sky. Jarno had succumbed to all she's poisoned and struggled to breathe. Maggie scooped the beast into his arms and returned to Kimiki. When they reached the village, Jarno was no longer moving. The village elder gently stroked the wolf's head. In response, Yara let out a hoarse and pitiful bark, and closed its eyes and drifted off as if into slumber. Peace had at last returned to Miki village. In honor of Shimano's heroic exploits, the villagers erected a shrine and placed the statue of the wolf within it. Maggie's sword was christened Tusukomigi and placed inside the moon cave. The villagers all looked forward to an age of endless peace. However, this is not the end of the story. There's more to this tale than most people know. A hundred years passed in Snaki and Jumar heroic exploits. It happened so quickly that no one in the village even took notice. Is this the legendary sword? Is this to Sinikumi, the sword that banished the dreaded Ahi? No, it couldn't be. It's just a legend. Nothing but a fairy tale. He who seeks power, he who has broken my bonds, speak the words, I wish darkness unto this world. Order that prayer unto me and unleash my power.
horrible tragedy suddenly swept over the land. It was one wind which seemed to escape the terrible curse. A tiny settlement in Naki village enjoyed the protection of a sacred tree. It is here that the real story begins. Spirit Sakuya. How troublesome. This is just like the ancient prophecy of doom. What has transpired to bring about such calamity? We must act quickly. There is no time to lose. My power has diminished over the years I spent protecting this area. I don't have much time left in this world. Amadraji, now is the time. We have never needed your power more. Shine your divine light upon this broken and solid world. Let your heavenly rays become our hope as you guide us all. Come eat from my dress. Ah, such divine white light. Such beauty and grace, the only one capable of such a wondrous spectacle is none other than our mother and her origin of all that is Amaterasu. How delightful to see that the Savior, whose brave sacrifice sealed away the evil demon so many years ago, has not changed one bit. Seeing you emerge after so many years spent as a statue brings happiness to my heart. I'm addressing. Gaze upon you and take it in the condition of the sky. Since your untimely departure from our mist, the world has succumbed devious, vicious beasts. They have ravaged our fine and beautiful country, Nepal. But never have the circumstances been worse than they are at this very moment. Please use your powers to banish the darkness, punish those who would do us harm. What is this? And something stolen its way into my robe? <laughs> you, what on earth? You again? Ow, 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 ow. Are you nuts? Boy, for a little thing, you sure make a big fuss. I was just trying to make the conversation a bit more interesting, that's all. Were you napping in my clothes again, Bug? Bug? I told you a thousand times not to call me that. I'm a wandering artist. Name's Isu. 
wondering, I'll just this one. I'll show you just how great I am, and it won't be long until you bow before my great brush. Well, what do you think? Even cuter than the real thing, no? What would you for, Paul? You look kind of down in the dumps. Actually, you look kind of familiar. Got it. You just look like the statue of Shirani. Wow. What do you think you're doing? Are you crazy? Handsome guy like me should never be covered in wool slobber. You'll regret messing with the great Isun. Don't make me use my prized sword, Eiko Nomari, against you. What's the groveling sound? Why is it so dark anyway? Oh great god, Amaterasu. I've used all the power I have to protect the Miki village. The village lives on. Their spirits lie encased in my fruit. Cut it free and the village will be reborn. I trust in you. I know that you will lead us down the right path. Only your awesome power can restore life to the world. The tree returned to normal, huh? That Sakuya girl sure said some weird stuff. The village spirits are being kept inside the fruit? That's the fruit? That the girl said. If you cut it down, the village will be restored. But it's awfully high up there. If you don't use some kind of special power, there's no way you're gonna reach it. This darkness is really getting to me too. What can happen while you're taking a nap? growing in a high place. The only way we're gonna reach that is with some kind of special power. Hmm. I don't think we've learned any special power, but that looks shiny. Let's go in there. Maybe there's a special power in it. Awfully quiet all of a sudden. I don't remember any place like this in the village. Well, better keep our eyes peeled. We can use the light stick to look around. Change position view. Oh, you're really looking so helpless. You're sure you're gonna be okay? reflection appears on its surface and memories will be stored in the mirror for all eternity. Well, to put it shortly, we can save your progress here. And let me give you a little advice. You should save a number of game files. That way, you could always go back if you get stuck or something. Gotta be prepared, especially while you are still learning the ropes.
those pots just waiting to be broken. Bust them. There might be something good inside. Let's see if we can hit by them. Way to go, my fairy friend. You can do that anytime you see something that you can break. so you can jump really high. I knew you could do it. They say good luck is fine in high places. Keep your eyes peeled. You don't want to miss any treasure. your favorite snack. Storage energy. Ooh. Ooh. Looks like the bridge is out. This shouldn't be so hard. Mm. How much Rasu was it? It's kinda long. Mind if I call you Amy? This Amy, bird of the spirits of the brush, good brushwork has its own soul. At least that's what they say. Just watch. It'll take all day to explain. Makes you words fast words, right? Nice, huh? Just a little technique I've mastered called rejuvenation. It's one of many brush techniques that use divine power. It's your brush god power that can be used to restore broken or missing things. I practiced really hard just to master this one technique. But there's 13. Each one is the power of one of the 13 brush gods. Originally, all 13 were a single powerful deity. The deity died, its power split into 13 separate gods. The gods now dwell within the objects all around us, but God or no God, how could anyone have the power to master all 13? Sounds like something to aim for. Ooh. River of the Heavens. The River of the Heavens? You mean the Fable Stardust River? But I sure don't see anything like that around here. Couldn't be that little puddle over there, could it? stars twinkle. I haven't seen such a beautiful nighttime sky in ages. Hey, look! Are those stars forming a pattern? Or is it just me? Hmm. There's one missing. Guess I'll just have to draw the missing star. Just not ready for drawing missing stars. I'm 
should spend in make up a little time practice that. Another amateurs. I apologize for not contacting you sooner during these long years. Having never forgotten you, I, coming God of the Restoration, have eagerly awaited this day when we could again meet. While you were away, the thirteen spirits of the brush that you once possessed including myself, have been scattered across this land of men, now lie in disarray. I became a constellation and managed to survive until now. The time has come for you to seek out and reunite all the techniques. Your power is what is needed to restore the dried riverbed of the heavens and renew the flow of stardust. Rejuvenation. Wait, so you have the power of rejuvenation now? Can you really use it to restore the river of the heavens? That would mean that you were as good with the brush as yours truly. Nah, it couldn't be true. Who else could master this incredible god technique? Well, let's go find out. Drawing some stardust would get the river flowing again. Nah, it's one thing to fix a bridge, but fixing a starry river? There's no way you could pull that off. It's not like that. Come on, don't we try? River of Stardust. But this really must be the river of the heavens. But what I really want to know is who the heck drew the darn thing? <laughs> 